chapter 1, text 13 to 15. <laughs> children and forbade them to enter. Thus, 
first chapter, the four stages, actually cursed. Oh foolish Lord Keepers, you were unfit to live at the shelter of Mandutusha's lotus feet. Therefore, you should go immediately to the material world and take your birth in a family of most sinful Asuras. While Jai and Jai were thus falling to the material world, were further addressed by the same stages. After three births, you will be able to return to your positions in my world. For then, the curse will have ended. Okay, upon first descending to the material world, these two gatekeepers were born as two demon brothers, Hiram and Krishna, and Hiram and Akshay, who were killed by the Lord, appearing as the Lord and During this birth, Hiram and Krishna would display intense hatred towards his son Prahla, who was a devotee of the Lord, and hence the Lord appeared for his protection. Later, these two gatekeepers took birth as Brahmana and Kundaka and were killed by Lord Ramchandra. Now, in their third birth, the same Jai and Vijay were born as your cousins, Shushupal and Nandu. And having been killed by Lord Krishna, they have now been killed in their birth. Oh, Narada, why was there such enmity between Karanyaka Shukru and his own son? How did Prahlad Maharaj become a devotee of Lord Krishna? Kindly explain this to me. My dear King Yudhishthira, when Lord Vishnu, in the form of Varaha, the boar, killed Hiranyaksha, Hiranyaksha's brother, Hiranyaksha, licks Extremely angry and began to My brother. These devas have made the lions with Vishnu was thwarted all this and killed my dear brother. Vishnu! I shall sever Lord Vishnu's head from his trunk, and with the produce blood from his body, I will please my brother Granyaksha, who was so fond of sucking blood. Then, finally, I shall be peaceful. Go! Go on the hermitages! Stop all the sacrifices! Don't spare anyone who worships Vishnu! Hiranya Kashyapu carried out his plans for revenge. Brutally attacked the animals, overthrew Lord Indra, and took his throne. Seeking even greater power, he left to the forest to perform severe hostilities. In his absence, the demigods gathered their strength and attacked. The demons, fearing for their lives, fled, leaving it and Krishna's pregnant.
we must stop this evil seed from bearing its evil fruit. We will hold the mother until she gives birth, then kill the child. The child within this woman's womb is pure and sinless. His name is Prahla and he's a great devotee of Krishna. Even though his father is the most envious demon? Yes, and because of Prahla's devotion, you would not be able to kill him even if you tried. For he is always protected by the Supreme Personality of God. Your knowledge is perfect. We will release her into your protection. and 
public Shila Lekrishna was tried and thus he entered the path of his destruction. In spite of Shila Lekrishna's intense enmity towards the Supreme Lord, his son Prahlad, however, was quite different. Prahlad was a pure devotee of Krishna, was completely cultured as a qualified Brahmin, having very good character and being determined to understand the absolute truth. He had full control of his senses and mind. Like the super soul, he was tied to every living entity and was the best friend of everyone. To respectable persons, he acted exactly like a menial servant. To the poor, he was like a father. To his equals, he was attached like a sympathetic brother. And he considered his teachers, spiritual masters, and older god brothers to be as good as the supreme personality of God. Although born in a family of Asuras, he was never envious of Vaishnavas, nor was he agitated by the future danger. O King, Prahlad Maharaj's good qualities are still glorified by learned saints and merchants. Prahlad Maharaj was always absorbed in thought of Krishna. My dear King Yudhishthira, although Prahlad was his own son, the demon Hiranyakashipu tormented and even tried to kill this exalted fortunate devotee. O oh, best of spiritual leaders, how did Hiranyakashipu give so much trouble to his own son? How is it possible for a father to be so violent towards an exalted son who is obedient, well-behaved, and respectful? A father and mother are always affectionate to their children. I've never heard of a parent trying to kill their own child. Please, explain this to me. Children spoiled 
by the words of the enemy. Shanda, Amaka, take Prahlad safely with you to the Gurukula and give him full protection while instructing him properly so that his intelligence will not be further influenced by Vaishnavas who may otherwise enter in disguise. Yes, my lord. Shanda and Amarka, upon taking Pranayam back to the Guru Guru, pacified him with mild voices and affectionate words. Fearing that he frightened, Prahlad may not identify the true cause. They began by acquiring gentle from him. My dear, dear, dear student Prahlad, you're such a nice little boy, and so intelligent too. You know you never tell lies. Just speak the truth. Who has taught you to be such a deviant? Such nonsense. Which enemy has taught you this garbage about Krishna? Who has spoiled your fine intelligence? I offer my respects to the Supreme Authority of God, whose illusory energy is so strong that people are fooled him to think. He is my enemy, and he is my friend. What? How dare you speak like that to us? Where have you learned this? Where? I have learned from my spiritual master that everyone is a servant of God. Stop that talk immediately before I lose my stick on you. Just as I am naturally moves towards a magnet, I can't stop talking about Krishna because my mind is naturally attracted to him. You deviant! You rascal! You! We feel sorry for you. You have shamed us and now learn from us correctly. Listen carefully or you'll be beaten till you bleed. Listen and hear real knowledge. Hiranya means gold. Kashipu means soft bed. This is life's goal. Enjoy gold and all money can buy. Soaks and fame. God, I ask why? Soft beds, plush cushions, and feminine smiles. Drinking wine, feeling fine. Be a man, not a child! If you are interested in religion, that's certainly all right. Just use it to get rich and put God out of sight. Eat all you like, kill all you can. Cows, bulls, pigs, snakes. Why not a man? Divide your citizens and rule them. Tell them you'll never die. Tax them to death. You must learn to be sly. Come on, Rahla, think big. Don't just think. Don't waste your life. We'll make you the king. Rahla, just be like your school friends. Shanta and America, the teachers of Pralad Maharaj, chastised and threatened their disciple in various ways and began teaching him about the facts of religion, economic development, and sense gratification. In this way, they educated him. After some time, they thought that Prahlad Maharaj was sufficiently educated in the diplomatic affairs of pacifying public leaders, appeasing them by giving them lucrative posts, dividing and ruling over them, and punishing them in cases of disobedience. Then, one day, after Prahlad's mother had personally washed the boy and dressed him nicely with sufficient ornaments, they presented him before his father. When Hiranya Kashyapu saw that his child had fallen at his feet and was offering obeisances, as an affectionate father, he immediately began showering his blessings upon the child and embraced him with both arms. 
father naturally he was happy to have raised his son. And here the Kashmir became very happy in this way. My dear Pramal, my dear son, for so much time you've heard many things from your teachers. Now please, repeat to me whatever you think is the best of that knowledge. Hearing and chanting about the transcendental holy name, worldwide paraphernalia, pastimes of Lord Vishnu, remembering them, serving the lotus feet of the Lord, offering Him respectful worship, offering Him prayers.
other means. They threw him in a bit full of poisonous snakes, yet still no harm was done to them. They tried to kill the land by throwing him over the cliff, but the Lord personally came to save him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Krishna conscious and were planning to parade to build ourselves a house. These human bodies are rarely achieved. And unlike in other species of life, in human life, we can perform devotional service. Let's not waste our lives. Let's sing Hare Krishna and go back to home, back to God. We would, Prahlad, but we don't know how. It's easy. Just repeat after me. Hare Krishna. Everywhere, even in the 